out, exploring his new home. His name is, well actually he doesn't have a name yet. He's just a little pig. But as you'll soon see, he's not just any ordinary pig. and jam. Before long, Wilbur was five weeks old. I can see it's about time for a birthday party. He was big. Now let them call me a run. And strong. Anyone for our muscly? And healthy. Check out the pink in the cheeks. And he was ready to be sold. For a pretty fair price. March. I can't provide for him any longer. I've already sold Wilbur's ten brothers and sisters. Oh, Wilbur, 
Listen, everybody, I have a suggestion. Why don't we call the Zuckerman's? Your Uncle Homer sometimes raises pigs. And if Wilbur goes there to say you can walk right down the road and visit him anytime you like. Yes, Papa, please? That's a good idea, Martha. Come along. We'll call Uncle Homer. Can Wilbur come too? Why not? Maybe we'll let him make the call himself. <laughs> Dig a 
watch the flies and the bees and the swallows. Twelve noon. Lunch. One o'clock. A nap. Two o'clock. Scratch itchy places by rubbing against the fence. Thank you. You're most welcome. Three o'clock. A visit from Fern. Four o'clock. Supper. At 4.30 on free time. Right. I get everything all beautifully planned out and it has to go and rain. I'm lonesome. And I'm sure Fern won't come in such bad weather. Oh, honestly, I'm less than two months old and already tired of living. Morning, baby. Breakfast. Lots of good leftovers today. A meal. Fit for a pig. What's wrong with you? We must have a sick pig here. Mr. Zuckerberg, come quick. It does look delicious. But I don't want food. I want love. I want a friend, someone who will play with me. Do you want a friend, Wilbur? I'll be a friend to you. I watched you all night, and I like you. Who are you? And where are you? I think this will do the trick for me. Now he won't like to see you home, and I'll feed it to him. Come on, boy, it's a sulfur and let it out. Okay, throw some up. <coughs> there, that wasn't so bad, was it? Let's give him a second dose, just for good measure. Jumpy old rotten egg. A red is a rat. But my friends, let's hope that egg 
A rotten egg is a regular stink bomb. Don't worry. Oh, I don't break it. I handle stuff like this all the time. I'll put it right here under my trough and my other things. Wilbur, Uncle Homer and Aunt Edith seem to be glad that you put on so much weight. Oh, uh, sure they are. And you know why, too, don't you? You asked me that once before, but you didn't tell me why. No, 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 old sheep. Well, he has to know sometime. No, what? Oh, Wilbur, you know I don't like to be one to spread bad news, but they're backing you up because they're going to kill you. They're going to what? Kill you, turn you into smoked bacon and ham. It'll happen when the weather turns cold. It's a regular conspiracy. Stop! I don't want to die. I want to stay here with all my friends. I want to breathe a beautiful air and lie in the beautiful sun. Well, you're certainly making a beautiful noise. But I don't want to die. Well, we're quiet down. You shall not die. What? Who's going to save me? I am. How? Well, I'm afraid that remains to be seen.
and a pig. Hi, Sage. So big. <laughs> Oh, Charlotte, everyone's so excited about the new word, and they're expecting more visitors 
course not. They will never spoil me. <laughs> of course he still has to worry about the future. His life is a security act. I know, but with friends like you, I can face anything. Friendship is one of the most satisfying things in the world. You better believe it, Buster. And you better not forget the French old Templeton's who just happened to be in the dump all night looking for words to save you. Try this. It's from an empty package of soap flakes. With new radiant action. Radiant. Ooh, that's nice. Well, Bert, 